Welcome back everyone. It is Queen of Queen She Me and today I'm here to share with you guys how to retain hair length. I've been wanting to do this video for a while but with being natural you know you still learn and grow throughout your journey. So now that I have learned I have some tips and tricks that I wanted to share with you guys and I've been wanting to come out more with tips and trick videos for you guys because I get questions all the time about natural hair. How do I get my hair really thick? How do I retain length? Etc. Etc. So I said well why not just start making sure I share this with you guys here on YouTube. So. So as you can tell, I am protective styling. I am on day, I believe, either 16 or 17. I'm not quite sure. And I have been loving it. I've just been wearing my hair like this. So yeah, protective styling is one of the, one of the many ways that you can actually help to retain hair length. First things first, um, with retaining hair length, you want to make sure that you trim regularly. Now when you trim your hair, you only want to do it on an as needed basis. You do not want to just trim your hair every time you wash your hair. That's too frequent. You don't want to cut your hair off like that. So if you notice that your ends may not, you know, coil like they typically do or whatever the case may be, just make sure that you use hair scissors. and. That's what I have. These are just simple hair scissors. I think we got these from either Sally's or Dollar Tree, but I believe we got these from Sally's. And um, yeah, they're really good. They're the brand Annie and they're stainless steel. And we use these, you know, as needed. So every four to six weeks, you just want to make sure that you just pay attention to the ends of your hair. When you do not trim your hair regularly, then the damaged ends travel up the hair shaft of your hair, meaning that it'll start the damage will travel from the ends all the way up to your roots, and that's what will cause your hair to break off, which will prevent you from retaining hair length. Next, when it comes to retaining hair length, for me personally, I've noticed that when I do a pre poo and a hot oil treatment, it definitely helps with hair maintenance. I say that because I have notice that my hair will shed when I do not use a pre poo So when I pre poo I typically go in with just my organic coconut oil and I just take this and I just, you know, scoop out however much I think I will need, warm it up in the microwave and then I'll put it in an applicator bottle and then I have my hair in sections and I just make sure to detangle. Typically I finger detangle when I pre poo and then I will go in with my hot oil treatment using the Jamaican black castor oil and this is from the Jamaican mango and lime companies. Not everyone typically does a pre poo or a hot oil treatment but to but for me I do. Um, and again the benefits of pre pooing you know it helps to keep your hair soft and then if you go in afterwards with a shampoo it will definitely definitely make sure that your hair stays hydrated because some shampoos can strip your natural hair. You know, whatever works for you works for you, but typically for me, pre poo is always an important step in my natural hair regimen. So the next one that I am a big stickler about is not using heat. You guys, I have not used heat on my hair even before I decided to even start transitioning. I stopped using heat like almost over two years ago and I have noticed a big difference in my hair. I know a lot of naturals still actually use heat. You know, they will only straighten their hair probably like once or twice a year. Um, I know the um, natural, Naturally Glam Twins, they flat iron their hair during the winter time so that way it can be low maintenance on actually taking care of their hair and then in the summer months or whatever, they will actually wear their hair curly. So again, it's probably only once or twice a year. It just all depends on the person. But me personally, I do not use any form of heat. Even when I do a deep treatment, um, I do have a hooded dryer, but I only use it very rarely ever so often. Um, typically when I do use Heat is my own body temperature. So, I mean, you just put a towel on, or I put my turby twist on, and that's what helps with actually giving me a really good deep treatment. But again, if you want to use heat, just make sure that you actually use a heat protectant. You definitely want to make sure you protect your hair because again, you're putting a lot of heat on your hair to get it bone straight, pretty much. And I mean, what's the purpose of flat ironing your hair if you're not gonna get it bone straight? So make sure you use a heat protectant and then you know again 
only use heat as needed just try to use it as little as possible so another trip another tip for like you know again if you're going to use heat to like say for instance dry your hair you can just air dry your hair or you can use a cotton t-shirt that's what i use and that's what i typically do when it comes to natural hair, you really want to make sure you have all the necessary tools that you will need on your wash day. So another good way to help retain length is the actual tools that you use. First one being up is my wide tooth comb. I picked this up at Sephora. It was like $8 and I use this all the time to detangle only primarily on my wash days and that's usually mm, probably when I'm pre pulling if my hair for some reason it's really really dry but I only use this when I have to like if you know you have a tangle make sure you have a wide tooth comb so that way you're not trying to force a knot out you just want to make sure you just really take your time with detangling your hair so definitely make sure you have a wide tooth comb only use it as needed because this is still a tool and tool can still create sun damage even though it is beneficial in your hair regimen another tool you can use are hair clamps and I use these to section my hair off so that way I can be able to really get a good detangling session going on. And you know, um, depending on how thick your hair is, the smaller the sections you want to go. Um, so that way you can just make sure you get through your hair quicker. Not pretty much per se quicker, but so that way you won't do have as much damage because you're using such a large section of hair trying to detangle it. So make sure you get you some form of hair clips. Typically for me, I will either do four big sections, like, you know, two in the front, two in the back, or I will do three and three. But again, it just all depends. But when I'm in the shower, it's typically just four sections. That's the way I like to detangle my hair. And also too, water is a good tool for um, detangling your hair and even with just adding moisture back into your hair. People don't realize that, you know, adding water to your hair will actually help with your natural hair. So I would say it's a tool. <laughs> Another tool you may not be aware of are actual elastic bands. And these can actually help with sectioning your hair off as well. I will only use this on dry hair. I would not really want to use this on wet hair because um, your hair pretty much when it's wet um, can tend to have be at its you know most most susceptible point for breakage and damage. So just only use these on your dry hair. Um, and yeah, again, I only use these like for right now with my protective style, trying to put them up at night. Um, I'll use a large band and then probably like one or two of these to secure the bun, and then that'll be all. But yeah. Um, you want to make sure that they have no metal clasps on them. You just want to make sure that they are completely cloth. Another way to help retain length is to actually do a protective style. So as I stated earlier in this video is that I'm actually wearing a protective style right now. Um, I just installed some braids. I believe this is about 30 or 40 braids. I'm not quite sure. I didn't go for a really full, full, you know, head of hair this time. Um, I just really just wanted something so that way I can just tuck my strands away, you know, with low manipulation to them and to just make sure that I just give my hair primarily a break from this crazy ass weather we've been having lately, you know, with the hurricane season and then we're transitioning into fall. Like my hair, I was noticing it was not being receptive to the weather. So I was like, no, time to tuck you away so I had trimmed my hair and then I went on ahead and did a protective style this is about five bags of braiding hair and this is our tree hair and this is just a jumbo braiding hair and this is in the color 1b um yeah and so this is like my third or fourth time wearing this hair in a jumbo braid style pretty much box braids as I call them and yeah it helps retain length it helps you to keep your hands out your head you try not to do them as large I mean as small in the front so that way you will not you know take away from your edges so i just make sure that i just moisturize at night with some jamaican black castor oil and then once a week i will take some q-tips and then actually take a bowl with some um shampoo and so that's what i have been using to actually cleanse my scalp once a week so yeah protective styles are good because it gives your hair a break it protects your hair and also too it just gives your hair a chance to just actually just grow without anyone just actually doing anything to it another really good tip for actually retaining hair length is to just use as 
little manipulation as possible if you're one of those people who have their hands and hair syndrome when you're just like always messing with your hair that is not good that is definitely not good for your natural hair even though you may not be combing it or brushing it or you know twisting it down or whatever you're doing even just putting your hands in your hair just throughout the day just touching it all the time will actually start to create breakage because you're touching the ends of your hair which is the oldest part of your hair so you just do not want to do that so just try to keep your hands out of your head as well um also too with the, even the type of hairstyles that you use that can create a lot of manipulation so you just want to be mindful when you're doing your hairstyles you know to just kind of be like hmm, you know is this going to create too much tension because you also have to take into consideration your actual wash day wash day is a big manipulation day especially from going from dry to wet and then back to dry your hair goes through a lot and then just trying to make sure you don't use a lot with the tools so again like i stated earlier a wide tooth comb is good to help with detangling but you don't have to ne necessarily use it all the time just sometimes use water and i'm telling you your hair will just start you know detangling on its own so it's a win-win but you have to be careful and my big 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 tip for helping to retain hair length um if you are natural or even if you're transitioning is to make sure you are moisturizing your hair you cannot skip wash days you cannot skip nights when you know you need to twist your hair i know it is hard sometimes because you just do not want to be bothered with it but in the long haul if you keep doing that your hair is just going to break off and then you're just not going to be happy and then you're just going to go back to that old nasty creamy crack and relax your hair and just be like i'm done with it we don't want that we want you to retain your hair so what you need to do is just make sure that if you know you need to twist your hair ladies twist your hair i'm guilty of this as well i'll typically just throw on my silk bonnet or my silk scarf silk, silk scarf but no you really need to make sure you moisturize your hair so big moisturize, moisturization days or like wash days or um just days throughout the week that you know that you can actually take the time to actually you know put some moisture back into your hair so what i use for adding moisturization back into my hair is i use the lock method or the lco method the lock method is a leave-in oil and a cream and then the lco is a leave-in cream and oil i enter exchange between the both of those because hmm, i just like to use them both that way and my hair seems to like it so either way as long as my hair is being moisturized and sealed that's all it really cares about another big tip is to use water water is your best friend don't forget that you know even though you're using these products and they're here to give your hair that curl definition that pop or they're supposed to do this and then give you the shine make sure that you are actually putting water back into your hair that is what makes your hair grow that is what helps the products be receptive into getting into the actual hair strand so if your shaft is not open the hair shaft is not open there's no way those products are going to work and you have to make sure you do that by using water so just get your spray bottle i have a spray bottle here and it's just filled up with just filtered water and yeah and i just spritz my hair and then i just go with my leave-in oil and cream and i mean you don't have to soak your hair you just need to make sure you just give it a mist kind of get it damp a little bit so that way your hair can be really manageable and actually put in moisture back into your hair another tip is to use creams and butters i use a lot of creams um typically if i was to use a butter it would be shea butter and i have done that before it just makes my hair really soft it doesn't give me the definition that i need but it is good for moisturization and it does give your hair that added shine if that's what you're really looking for using deep conditioners and protein treatments are another big way in moisturizing your hair um protein treatments you only use them on an as needed basis matter of fact someone commented recently on my deep conditioner video saying you know pro proteins having proteins in deep conditioners are not good but if you're you can't use the same deep conditioner all the time if you know it has a lot of protein content in it because then yes your hair can have a protein overload and then your hair will just be like really messed up it can become damaged from too much protein so yeah that is true but it just all depends you have to pay attention to what you're actually using when i do a protein treatment i use the cream of nature um protein treatment and it comes in a um, red bottle and you guys have seen me use that here on youtube i will link the video down below for that 
but a majority of the time i use the eden body works jojoba manoy deep conditioner or i will go in with another one of my favorite deep conditioners a majority of the deep conditioners that i use they are hydrating and they usually have a natural butter or some kind of natural oil in them. So they may have argan oil, Moroccan oil, avocado oil, or butter, or shea butter, or African butter. It's all, deep conditioners are my favorite because that's where you can really give your hair that moisturization in. So if you are not into deep conditioners, I suggest you start getting into something. You know you can even deep condition just with using an actual oil. So you can use grapeseed oil, olive oil, avocado oil, um, castor oil. Some people use Jamaican black castor oil that way. Me, typically, I don't like it that way because it's so thick. But some people do actually use it that way. Either way, if you make sure you use a deep conditioner, I'm guaranteeing you guys, your hair will be moisturized. And another and last simple step in adding moisturization back into your natural hair is to actually massage your scalp. But don't just put oil on it and then just, you know, uh, and just get through there. Like, no, actually take your time and, like, you know, take your fingers and massage your scalp or get you a um, scalp massager. I know people sell them for like $20, maybe less, maybe more. I'm not sure, but they really do have scalp massagers and you can actually put the oil in there and it can massage your scalp for you. So, I mean, a stimulated scalp helps promote natural hair growth i'm telling you because when you get the blood circulation flowing it helps promote your natural hair to grow so having a healthy scalp adding moisture back into your hair with least manipulation using the proper tools and actually taking the time out to actually care and nurture for your natural hair those are the ways to help to retain your hair length you guys i'm telling you it may seem like a lot but i'm telling you once you figure out which regimen works for you it will definitely definitely benefit you in the end and you will get the end result you, that you've always wanted from the beginning healthy hair or retaining a very good amount of hair length i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it didn't seem like i was just flying through it but i'm getting hungry <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button, baby. I upload once, one to two times a week. It just all depends on my personal schedule. And yeah, if you have any comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching my king and queens and I will see you guys in the next video. Be blessed.